Okay. I want to tell you, a great audience today and everything. And welcome back. I, I've got, once again, I want to be sure, Paul Davis, who is the president of the Vietnam Veterans here in, in the state of Delaware, and my good friend Dave Skosik on the end, who's kind of PR person for and helps out the, you know, in, in a lot of different ways. Uh, if we were talking about veterans and all the, you know, things and how many veterans there are, we need more veterans to get involved, first of all. And, but there's other people that can assist in veterans, too. I mean, you know, because uh, uh, how, how does somebody get involved with the... Well, the Vietnam Vets of America, uh, we have an associate membership, and in the United States there's currently over 7,000 associate members. Uh, you do not have to have been a member of the armed forces, but there are people that uh, serve as support for us and endorse our programs and uh, help us in many, many ways to help all veterans. Yeah, because it, it, there again, it's a, it comes, I hate to say it, but it comes down to that almighty dollar. It, it truly does, no matter how you look at it, and you guys right. need the dollars to fight the, the different things that you have to fight. We hear it every, you know, you read it in the paper all the time and everything else. And so yeah, I look at those people who maybe didn't have that loved one come back home, uh, but, you know, they were a veteran. You know, so maybe they need to get involved a little bit. Sure. You know, we need to protect the ones that did come back home, be sure they're taken care of, like you were saying, Dave, while we were at break there. A lot of these guys that were in Vietnam, they're not around anymore. Uh, and it's not due because uh, they should have had longer lives. It's stuff that took place while they were in Vietnam, no matter, you know, if it was mental or, or, or chemical or whatever the case might be. Uh, but you got a website out there. We can find out more information. I guess this is for the uh, Vietnam veterans. Yes, uh, Delaware has uh, a web page that has a lot of information about the Vietnam vets of Delaware, which is www.delawarevva.com. And you can uh, look at our web page and get a lot of information about what's taking place in Delaware. Yeah, and, 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 and all the veterans, Dave, as you, you, you know as well as I do, because you speak every time you get up there, and I've heard you speak on veterans. You don't, you know, you talk Vietnam, you talk Korea, you talk them all, you know, sure. and, and we still got a, quite a few of them still with us today. God bless them from World War II. So, you know, we want to recognize Do you have to have been guys. in a war to be a veteran, or you just have to have been a member armed of the military services. service? Armed services. Uh, right, but not, not in a you theater of action. Correct. No, right. No. If you were in then you were subject to being called up. You are a veteran. Well, there's, right? a, there's a lot of veterans that during war, uh, during war time that might not even have seen the war itself because the support groups is behind it and everything right. else is behind the lines and stuff. So there's a, there's a lot of ways to be veterans and, and a lot of, a lot of women that are that are veterans as well too. So we want to reach out to everybody uh, and, and get involved. And it's political time and, and everything. So since you guys are up here <laughs> and I, I know that you're you're a big uh, uh, Republican over here on the in the middle there and see as you ran on that part that's why you lost in this day you got to change you know <laughs> and Paul's if, on the opposite <laughs> side of, and we're brothers on this yeah so yeah we don't want the veterans I, I've got to do one quick thing for my, a good friend of mine if I don't do this he's going to kill me but uh, <laughs> uh, for uh, he's been doing a job for 28 years he's done a fantastic job we've had no complaints out of his office that I know about since he's been in that position so. he's probably going to do two more years if we reelect him and, and then probably step down at that point that's sure Mike Walsh. I, mean, I don't know if you know him, but he gets very involved. I, 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 I see him everywhere and, and chit chat with him. Very nice gentleman. And, and he does a good job as sheriff. So I want to be sure, no matter what, who you're voting for, be sure you vote. That's the key. Amen. Uh, any, right. any, I guess the veterans Amen. have have they endorsed anybody on the. Well, under the national bylaws, we're, we're prohibited from endorsing any, any, any candidates. Personally, I like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, we uh, we are starting to, uh, as a veterans group, uh, looking at their issues and particularly what involves veterans. Uh, what are they going to do to help the veterans coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan? Right. Regardless of Because I, I, like you right. said, there's a 90-something 90, 90 percent or whatever it is well, it's, uh, uh, that are veterans. Uh, well, we, we represent 9 percent of Delaware's Yeah, population. Yeah, so that's a lot of vote And you guys power. are always getting your that's funds cut first. Power. Guys, Dave, hospital, thank, thank you so much, Mr. Paul Davis. It was yes, a sir. pleasure meeting you, you. And, uh, and thanks for serving in Vietnam uh, you, you know, when I was a kid and ran right alongside my yeah, dad and as well as you. Thanks all to you veterans. We're going to take a quick break, and you guys saw warming up. She's really good. You don't want to miss this. Miss Laura Cheadle will be with Looking us. So stay with us. Be right back right after this. Thank you.